It's an image certain to infuriate Vladimir Putin. He's been morphed into the monstrous Adolf Hitler. And it's being carried in protests around the world. Putin is also being compared to the Nazi madman who started World War II in other ways. He's just simply mad. He's just simply crazy. The Russian strongman is said to be in a bubble of isolation, increasingly paranoid. I really wonder about his mental state. Today, more questions were raised about Putin's state of mind when he went on TV and called the leaders of Ukraine a bunch of drug addicts and neo-Nazis. Not rational, bizarre, declares the Guardian newspaper. These American parents find themselves at Putin's mercy. Do you believe that your son is basically a political pawn at this point? Absolutely, Absolutely yes. Joey and Paula Reed's son, Trevor, was visiting his girlfriend in Russia in 2019 when he was accused of assaulting a police officer after a night of drinking. He testified at his trial from a cage. They asked me what happened. I told them, I don't know. I was drunk. I don't remember anything after I was at this party with Lena. He was found guilty and sentenced to nine years in a labor camp. His parents say there's video that proves he did not assault the officer. They believe he had a target on his back after the Russians found out he served in the U.S. Marines. They could see that he had a, a very high level uh, top secret clearance previously as when he was in the presidential guard and worked at Camp David. It made him a more attractive target. target. President Biden took up the case directly to Putin during their face-to-face -face meeting last year. I raised the case of two wrongfully imprisoned American citizens. Paul Whelan and Trevor Reed. And now with Somebody Putin's invasion of Ukraine, the Reed's hopes are fading. We're concerned that um, negotiation talks that may have been happening are going to cease pretty quickly.